All right, let's hold this right here. This is my pain cave. And while this looks pretty nice, this gets put together in a certain way. And I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see how that's done. So let's back this up and we're gonna take a look at just how this is all put together. What you see there is my diverge. And so normally I like to have my diverge outside, but in order for me to have it inside, I have a separate wheel. So what you're seeing here is me taking the axle out and I'm gonna install a spare wheel that happens to be an old wheel that I put a cassette on and a, a trainer tire on and that I can install using an adapter um, uh, through axle and attach it to my trainer. And this is so that I don't have to change the tire out and it makes it uh, a real quick fix. I do have to make a small adjustment to the derailleur for it to shift, but it's literally a 30 second uh, three screw uh, adjustment. So as I'm tightening this up, I'm getting this ready to put in the trainer and getting this ready for the next step. I like to have my TV, you'll see in a second, and so I like to sling from my iPad and I watch YouTube videos and various uh, action cycling uh, videos. So I bought from Nash Bar a nice little uh, iPad uh, slash book mount. It was 15 bucks, and it does the trick. I saw some others that were more expensive, but really I didn't want anything too complex, and this has really worked well. It goes on pretty slick. Um, and it's pretty sturdy and holds the weight of my iPad and my phone, which I use as my in-dash navigator to help me with my training program. And then from my iPad, I can connect that to my TV. Now I use Google Home and Google um, Systems, so uh, you'll see in a second I've uh, got a couple of things that I'm connecting there, but one of the real quick things, one of the uh, things I like to have in the basement are fans and instead of having to turn them all on individually I've got a couple of fans that are connected to a power adapter that I can just turn on with the flip of one switch and then I can hop on my bike and um, quick flip it and uh, get rolling and so you see my iPad up on the stage there uh, on the stand and I've got a TV remote that I just velcro to the bottom of that stand I can turn my TV on I can connect my iPad to the Google Chromecast on the TV and I can start watching whatever it is I want to watch. One of my most recent additions is my new bike fan, as you heard me call out in the opener. And that's simply a fan that I've connected to a smart outlet that I can control using my Google Assist. And it works really slick um, and it helps me to turn that on and off, um, which makes it just a little bit more comfortable down there. So this is the setup that I have for my trainer on either winter days or rainy days. And um, yeah, leave some comments in the section below to let me know what you think and what you think I'm missing. So we'll talk to you soon.